Continuing coverage on the investigation into the Canton, Missouri Police Department. Tonight, the sheriff and prosecutor in Lewis County are speaking out about a report which they say brings to light troubling allegations about evidence handling. Disgust. That's what Lewis County Prosecutor Chelsea Fellinger says she felt when Sheriff David Parrish delivered to her a report outlining troubles with evidence storage at the Canton Police Department. You know, these are things that shouldn't be happening in law enforcement and especially in our smaller communities where uh, those law enforcement agencies are relied on so heavily. Sheriff Parrish says the revelations were a shock to him as well. First of all, I was astonished at the lack of institutional controls. Um, I was so taken aback by it that I immediately sent a letter to the Missouri State Highway Patrol Colonel asking for their assistance. He also reached out to the FBI office in Kirksville. The reason? Evidence missing from storage at the Canton Police Department. Evidence that includes a Glock 40 caliber handgun, hundreds of pills, both controlled and non-controlled substances, and about $1,000 in cash that a judge previously had ordered returned to its owner. The investigation began after a mass resignation at the department that included then-Chief Ryan Crandall in May 2022. That left only one officer with the department. Mayor Jared Phillips reached out to Parrish after the city discovered evidence bags had been tampered with. Missing items included methamphetamine, hydrocodone, and fentanyl. No one had any answers. No one could provide any definitive proof other than we're missing guns, we're missing lots of pills, methamphetamine, ecstasy, all out of their evidence room. Fellinger says she spent considerable time reviewing old cases to make sure no case's resolution would have been affected by the missing or tampered evidence. I have done a pretty thorough uh, check back on cases that have passed through this office and I do not feel that any cases that have been resolved um, were done so wrong. Wrongly. In May, Fellinger advised the city of Canton and the police department that her office would not prosecute any cases from the department unless an outside agency assisted in the investigation. A month later, she says the city responded, saying they would change nothing. It does concern me. Um, some of those cases that were referred, I've now referred to the Lewis County Sheriff's Office to do a follow-up investigation. Meanwhile, Parrish says the city of Canton is safe. He says he has complete confidence in the three new officers working for the department. I can assure the public that they have three very young officers that are left at the department. They are very good young people. They have nothing to do with this investigation. Fellinger has referred the case to the U.S. Attorney's Office in St. Louis, but has heard nothing back about what might happen next. Parrish adds that the state of Missouri has no mechanism for oversight of police departments to make sure they are compliant with best practices and proper procedures. And Canton Mayor Jared Phillips declined an on-camera interview today, but he did give us this statement, quote, We continue to cooperate with any questions that law enforcement may have. If we can see someone brought to justice, we'd love to see that come to fruition, unquote. And Phillips says his office will issue a formal statement tomorrow outlining a public forum possibly scheduled for next week to talk about the next steps for the Canton Police Department. And you can read more about the specific allegations from the investigation right now on our website, WGEM.com.